give me a breakdown, scale of one to 10, FIFA 22 as a whole. So not just gameplay, SBCs, market, everything. Boom. Like, honestly, like a two. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a bad game, man. It's, it's a bad, bad game. Is it yeah, the it worst we've game. ever seen? Is it the worst? Yeah. For me, it is. Yeah. Because oh, the, the, the gameplay now is 100% the worst ever. Yeah. Um. So, and the problem is because we got so many more juice cards, the power curve changed so quickly, but everybody has 99 rated teams. So because 99% of the people let the AI play for them, they have perfect AI. Mm -hmm. And so it just, yeah, it, I don't know. I don't like the game at all. So for me, this, this is what I will say about it. FIFA 20 and FIFA 19 had very bad gameplay, but the markets were great and the SBCs and that content was fresh and amazing and if you didn't like that content you could go into drafts and drafts were amazing and if you yep. didn't like that content you 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 could literally trade on the game all day now you fast forward to 22 gameplay just as bad as those games maybe it's a little bit better if that but there is no market so trading is hella boring because you trade a 20k you could buy a 99 rated card almost you know what i'm saying yeah you do SBCs, it's the same thing. Every single yeah. day they give you an SBC that's a repeatable once or twice. So I look at drafts are pretty muddied when you really think about what we used to have. So what has 22 done good? Because 19 and 20 had good things about them. This game, the rewards were bad. Rivals was bad. I think to myself about 22 and I go, what's one good thing that came out of this game? Because I can yeah. name good things that came out of 19 and 21. I can't name it yeah. for 20 or, or for 20. What can you name for 22? Anything? It's hard, dude. Yeah, it, 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 it is hard. It is hard. Um, maybe swaps. It, uh, swaps. Swaps was maybe. The, the, but swaps was already in the game. It's like, that's the thing. Like, we, there's nothing. Token new. system? Yeah, but we've had token systems before. Right. So what, what, literally, what came out of this game that we can go, you know what? This is something ea can actually build on because i think i'm gonna be honest man i think the one thing that carried 19 20 and 21 and you might disagree with me here but i think as much as people like this new system of people backing out in the weekend league rewards on thursdays and wednesdays whenever it came out brought people back to these boring games yeah. And with that being gone, there is nothing bringing you back to this game. The reward system now is stupid. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I, I agree with what Josh says in the chat, though. The foot fantasy cards and the, all of the cards that we got, like, you know, like, obviously, he wants to watch his headliners upgrade. I think the foot fantasy cards were, the, were a brilliant addition. Yeah. And I think people loved them so much because it wasn't just a when you have a good performance. It was like, right, you need some goals or some clean sheets your team needs some wins it lasted over a period of time you got massive upgrades from the back of them like that was a good part of the game and a new addition i thought was good and i'd like to see more but what's really surprising is the amount of people there that said swaps right that shows that we are in an extreme minority of what we want out of the game people yeah. don't want a good game to play people literally want a collection book they want the ability to just get these tokens as quick as possible yeah. you get some cool packs or some cool cards but, sit in their club and look at and be like look at these cool packs and cool cards but i don't know the numbers but i've been doing this for 11 years and i look around the fifa community as a whole and i look at you know uh the big guys the cash rows the nepenthes the the run the foot market knicks these guys and a lot of them are barely playing the game and i think it comes down to how bad this market was and how easy it is to achieve everything in this game so quickly. If you also, by the way, the one good thing to come out of this game was golden goal. I, that was very, that was good. They did the goal. Golden goal game mode was good. Yeah. That's very good mode. Honestly, I think they should go back to 40 games a weekend league with golden goal. That would be sick. <laughs> I'd be all right with that. Yeah. yeah. Right. How sick would that, and bring the rewards back. And since it's not, you don't qualify for the weekend for tournaments anymore. Like, like pro tournaments, bro, 40 games of weekend league gold and gold. That would be fire, bro. That's good. Let, let, let me ask you this, right? That I yeah. think rewards in general have to go right. Because you said to me just before we started the podcast, you've been playing a lot of Fortnite recently. Yeah. What do you get when you play a game of Fortnite? Nothing. I just want to get better. What do you, what do you get when you win a game of Fortnite? Nothing. 
So why do we need something for playing a game of FIFA or for winning a game of FIFA? Well, th- and well, and that- I do understand that the gameplay has to be good for yeah. it to be able to be just gameplay. But yeah. giving rewards is the way to, to like paper over that crack, I don't think is the the answer because well, all that does is make people circumvent the gameplay in every way possible just to get the rewards, which I don't think is good for no, the game. I, I agree with you. I, I, I agree that not everything needs to be about, not everything in life do you get rewarded, but in FIFA, everything that people want to see is rewarded. I'm going to tell you something. And I've been saying this for three years, and this is not me being like a hater on something like this, but I think what is killing this game and what is going to remain to kill this game, and I know EA Sports doesn't care because I I say this, and obviously it's not good for brand deals and stuff like this, but they love the fact that people are addicted to share plays because it's making people be to see more packs. And these share plays is what's killing this game because people only care about share plays now. They just care about getting week playing weekend league for fodder. So they can do their icon pack and then they'll, they'll watch a million icon packs being open. But then once they're done watching a million icon packs being open, they turn the game off and go play call of duty. Yeah. And that's what this game has become. It's become, let's see what people get out of a share plays. And then I'm going to go off and play a different game because yo, like you get where I'm coming from. Like it's really become that it's big time. Yeah, and, and that, that's where, again, I think that we're in, like, a, a really small echo chamber. I think, like, what, talking about, like, what we were talking about before about, like, earning a million pound a week becomes unnormalized. I think it, it's very normalized for us as a community mm-hmm. to get on the game, do the share play, do the pick content, and then get off the game. What I think EA have gone for and what they have clearly succeeded at because of how much money they continue to make year on year is getting that guy that gets home from work logs on has a game of fifa and then logs off because he doesn't know better he doesn't like imagine if like imagine you play pez right now for the first time and all you do is you just like right i'm just gonna log on to pez let me have a quick look around let me play a game and then leave you don't know that when that guy scored um uh a finesse shot from the top of the box and green timed it and like imagine if you're just a casual and you come up against someone that does that you're gonna sit and think Jeez, that was fucking insane. Yeah. That guy just hit his goal from there. That's so sick. What a great game. Like, you're not going to notice if he's got eight men in his box and two men on his back line because you're just, you're, it's not your normal. But because we know the flaws of this game and they've been compounded year on year and the, the content has been repeated year on year, it becomes real easy for us to see those flaws and be like, man, this game is terrible again. But from EA's perspective, they are making a great game that people generally enjoy. Yeah, well, and 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 that's that's what I. My next question to you is this: Can you name another video game outside of FIFA that it's more fun to sit on the menus than play the game? When oh, I watch, when I watch Nick Merck stream, when I watch uh, Tim the Tapman stream, you know they get their lobby and they go and they're into games, into games, into games, into games. Ours now is to sit on a menu. We literally so you, play you can sit on a menu, menu for an hour yeah. and your game viewers, right? Well, that's, you you that, know how like concurrent viewers work. Like in the last 10 seconds of us talking, probably 20 people left your stream and 20 right. new people joined, right? Right. If you was on the menus, the 20 new people that join stay, the 20 other people don't leave. You just continually grow your viewership. Yep. As soon as you go into a game, everyone's like, ah, oh, screw this. I'm going to go find somebody who's on the menus. When you watch Fortnite and stuff, when that game ends, people are like, all right, let me go find someone else now. Yep. Or let me go do something. Let me go get, grab my drink real quick whilst he's like lobbying up. Then when they get into the game, that's when the views go up. I remember FIFA 18. I was streaming over on Facebook, one of my first Facebook streams. And I was trying to get, uh, I think it was like 32 wins for Elite back then. Mm-hmm. And, um, I, you know, Facebook was a new streaming platform. The views weren't great. But by the time I got to the point where I had two games left and I needed to win them both to get like um, the, the Elite tier, I had like 1,500 viewers on a Facebook stream. And it was like, man, people just, they are here to see this because it was important. Because it's like, damn, can this guy get elite on stream before being elite was sensationalized? And now it's like, oh, elite, who gives a damn? You need to go like max wins, otherwise no one cares. People gave a damn. Now, if I play for elite or like for 14 wins or 16 wins, where you get that first like guaranteed team of the season pack, people just could not care less. Yeah. So that... I was down in Texas and I was, uh, me and Castro were sitting at a restaurant 
And notice every time I tell a Castro story, we're eating. Anyways, me and Castro are sitting down in a restaurant. Boom. Or, you know, he sees a tweet and the tweet shows how the rewards are going to be for the next coming FIFA 23. And it's going to remain the same. He looks at me. I look at him. We both, without anything, go, this is ass. Because that feeling of the 30 and O's and the 20 and O's and the actually watching yourself get better was low key kind of fun. And it's had some people actually caring about gameplay. The truth is now, if you look around the FIFA community, the biggest content creators, they're doing share plays. Yeah. The biggest streamers, they don't go into games. And when they go into games, the viewership goes down. And I understand why, because the game is trash, but you look around, you can't, you, you, you can't find, you know, uh, uh, a guy that is absolutely slaying it on Twitch, on YouTube. That's just the gameplay guy. The guy that I would say is probably the still the biggest for, you know, gameplay guys. Because I would say, like, we're RTG guys and stuff like that. Hashtag, Har um, hashtag Harry. When he drops, like, a gameplay video, it still bangs. You know what I'm saying? But Harry's somebody that, like, he's so entertaining and he's so good on the game that he deserves more. Like when you yeah, think but, about him, he that guy should be getting like five, six hundred k a video because he's so entertaining on, on the game. But it, but again, it's not about the gameplay. Yeah, and and the reason why it's not about the gameplay is because for the most part, everybody that watches us and everybody that plays FIFA loves football, and what we have as a video game is not a representation of football. Yep. So how can you enjoy watching it? And, and people will say, well, what about Danny Aaron's? And I will reply to you by saying, if you look at Danny Aaron's videos, they first have share plays in them. Most yeah. of the time he does like 11 share plays decide my team. So now you've brought the audience through the share play. But when you get there, Danny Aaron's is such a quality entertainer that you yeah. stay for the gameplay. This is what I'm trying to explain to people. Most things are now being sold in the community through a share play or through some type of pack or through some type and, of. And let me give you a perfect example of that, right? Draft of glory. I've been doing drafts for so much time and it's hard to get views on drafts because the way the YouTube algorithm works is it, it sees like 70% audience retention for eight or nine minutes whilst I'm building a draft and then 20% audience retention when I go into game. Because no one cares so about that. Part. Yeah. So the overall like YouTube are like, Oh damn! Halfway through this video, people turned this off. We're not going to promote this to people. Who the right. hell wants to see a video where we're all clicking off? Right. And so I'm like, been trying my best to try and figure out how can I get people to watch gameplay. So I started doing less gameplay, and then for the 20, 30 percent of people that were there for the gameplay, yes. they're like, "Man, I love watching gameplay. Don't do this. Like, like this is what I'm here for." And you feel bad about those. So I started doing uh, like packs and putting yeah. something on the line. All right, guys, I built an icon player pick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every win I get, I get to, mm. uh, a chance to save it. And mm. Otherwise, there's a discard on the wheel. Mm. I spin the wheel at the end. Maybe I get to save it. Maybe I don't. The mm. amount of people that I've had messaging saying, man, I never used to watch the gameplay, but I watch it now because there's something on the line, because yeah. you're doing something else. And guess what? It's to do with a pack, right? Yeah. So if it wasn't for that, they wouldn't care about the gameplay. And that's what it's like with like yeah. Danny Aaron's and stuff. It's like, because you've done this stuff with the share plays and with the picks and stuff, that's why they're watching the gameplay. Yeah, so I'll bring, and when if I say your name here, it's because you're one of my favorite content creators, and I, you know, and I, I respect what you're doing in the community because you're, you're absolutely banging. Danny Aaron's such a great entertainer. A lot of 100%. his videos will be like 11 player picks to side, so he, he does very very clever content to get people there to then watch the gameplay. Pie Face, Pie Face is a pack guy. Pie Face will admit that he, Pie Face, you look at his YouTube channel, every video is a, a, a pack opening. Castro's a, a, a great FIFA player, but majority of their content is rotated around packs. Run the foot market, Nick. I would say he does a lot of gameplay. Don't get it. To, and, a, mm. and a fantastic player, by the way. He's a vet, I've played him before. He's a great player. But he's his blow up was by knowing the market, by knowing yeah. SBCs. That's what run, run the foot market, Nick. He's the market. He's the the SBCs. He's that guy. He's so smart. People that that Boris Legend, I would say, is a big gameplay guy. Hashtag Harry, a big gameplay guy. But those guys to achieve the 300, 400K a video, it's going to be nearly impossible because right now this game is not rotated around gameplay is what I'm trying to say. 
Guys, give me a WRL in the chat if you understand where I'm coming from right here. We look at the, the biggest FIFA content creator right now goes by the name of Foot Crunch. If you guys don't know who he is, go check out who he is. He's massive. His content is this football book will decide my team. And he buys a bunch of books off of Amazon and he boom. And now he goes and builds a team based off the books. These toys decide my team. This is not gameplay. This is creating yeah. amazing content that yeah. will then make people watch this boring trash gameplay. If yeah. I upload right now, 99 Ben Yetter is the goatiest card in all of FIFA. No one cares. 70, 80 K views. If I upload 11 share plays decide my team, 100K views, 150K yeah. views. Dude, it's a... Uh, That's what was. EA's... What I'm trying to say is what, what we're saying by the content is the content shows what the community wants. And yeah. right now, EA has created a game that gameplay just doesn't, 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 doesn't matter. My boy Zway is an awesome content creator around gameplay. But even him now, you'll see him so much of, of his stuff that he has to drop right now right now is share play content because EA is forcing every content creator to go down that road. And if you don't go down that road, just like myself, we're becoming irrelevant because if we yeah. don't jump on that soon, we are going to become irrelevant. Like it, it, it's just the truth. Even though my hardcore viewership wants to see me play weekend league, even though uh, Nep's hardcore, I mean, Zway's hardcore viewership wants to see him do a 30 second intro and then do a player review. The truth is, if you don't start doing what EA is forcing to these kids now, which is like these share plays and what they're rotating their game around, yo, you'll instantly become irrelevant. Instantly. You guys might give me an L for this, but it's just, you know, I've been doing this for 11 years and I've seen, I've seen the waves from the Rota Shaw wave to, to, to the FIFA bingo wave to the yeah. uh, shout out to Andy still doing squad build showdown. He's still killing it on that. Absolutely slaying it. Um, but, but even that look at him two or three years ago, a million views a video. And he should now, still be getting it. Yeah. Yeah. He should be Yeah, Now 200, 300 K views a video. Like it's because, a big difference because they're changing the way content is being viewed through this game of just getting people to want to watch share plays, which then help their pockets. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? It's all about people reloading and 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 all that. So, anyways, for me, FIFA 22, for me, a two. How about for you yeah. guys, man? Everybody in the chat, get involved. Let us know if you're listening all over the place, man. We're gonna end these conversations very very soon, but we'll talk quickly about FIFA 23 and um and uh, move from there. I'm excited for FIFA 23. I hope the game plays really good. I, I, again, I don't dislike FIFA 22. I just wish FIFA. I mean, I do dislike it. I just I wish the game was rotated around actually using the awesome cards I get from my share from from uh my SBCs. FIFA 23 gets Juve back. That's kind of a yes. dub. That's a dub. I, yeah. I think just as a, as a like parting point on, uh, on gameplay and FIFA 22 and whatnot, I think for me, like, I abuse game mechanics as much as everybody else. Yeah, of right? course. Everyone does. And that is because if you try to play football, you just get punished. And because everything is based around how much you win or how quickly you can win, the primary goal is I need to win this game, not I need to play football or I need to enjoy playing this game. Yeah, I would like FIFA 23 to implement a system that rewards people for playing the game over a prolonged period of time, not playing 100 games to get some tokens or anything like this, but just like... You know what I mean? Just like, okay, you're just playing. You just have fun. And I think Rivals got it right at the start of FIFA 22. I played a lot of Rivals, even when I didn't need to, even when I'd already won the rewards, when I got the eight wins, I still just played a lot of Rivals because I didn't, I, I gained things. I was still working towards that 90 win milestone and things like that, right? And it was cool. And like there were the other milestones and stuff and they were cool. As soon as... The SBCs came out where it was like more efficient to do league SBCs, or as soon as um, some objective players came out, or some some new like uh, objective came out, where it was like, oh, rivals is dead in the water now. Let me go and grab those ten wins there real quick so that I can get. That's when for me the game kind of like lost the ability to just be like, yeah, I'm I'm no longer playing this just to enjoy playing it. I'm now playing it for these things they're throwing. Yeah. I would love for FIFA 23 to give us something where it's like just. Just let me have a mode where I can just enjoy playing 
against people that also just want to enjoy playing. So, so I, I, I agree with everything you said there. Now, I'm, I'm going to say one more thing about 22 and then I want to, I, I want to move to 23, the, the market. And, and I really want you to give your insight on this. I think 22 was really, really killed heavily by the market. I'm a married man, so I can't really hear what I'm going to say. Okay. Not from me, but every time I see my chat, when uh Dua Lipa comes on, they go crazy for her. They love Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa is like that girl to them, right? I'm a married man. Don't care. I couldn't even tell you what Dua Lipa really looks like. I didn't even know other girls existed is what I'm trying to say. But with that being said, Let's say you're, you're a guy and you're doing everything to get to Dua Lipa. And finally, you get to Dua Lipa. You're now dating Dua Lipa. You've hit the, 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 the top of Dua Lipa. Like, and Dua Lipa, if you ever see this clip, which you won't, I'm, I do not mean you're like this. I'm pretty sure you're a very nice woman. Let's say you finally get with Dua Lipa. And when you get there, she has the worst personality in the world. Okay? What I'm trying to say about this, I don't even know if this makes sense. The market, everybody always wanted to achieve everything. And they thought once they achieved everything that they were going to get great finishes in this game and they were going to be good FIFA players. But now that everyone yeah. has achieved everything and they, they realize the game still has a bad personality. Yeah. Did this, like, what did it do for us, right? Did this make the game better? I think it's made the game worse. I think it's made the game actually be like, wow, man, this is what it's like to have everything. This game actually still sucks. I'm out of here. Yeah, oh, 100%. I agree with that. And it's, uh, I, I think just uh, on top of that, it's like, Everybody wanted the best team, but they didn't actually want their opponents to have the best team. Yeah. They just wanted the best team, but they can't have it without everyone else having it. So yeah, now that you've got everything, you realize that it didn't make you a better player and it doesn't make the game more fun playing with these super players. Mm -hmm. And so now, yeah, you're in, a, you're in that position. Well, I, I think in terms of the market, EA have done this on purpose because it makes them, it, they sell fee points because of it. But you notice how almost everything now is untradeable. Yes. All the rewards are untradeable. And that's because you can't sell those on the market, which means yeah. there is an insane supply of all these cards that now people can't sell, which means that's why you go on the market now. Like you said earlier, you can get like 95, 96, 97 rate cards for like 20K, 30K, 40K. And they're like end game cards that you could use for the rest of the game cycle, no problem at all. And that is bad for everybody except EA. And, and, that, and that's what I'm saying. It just ruins the game so quickly because I think the, the reason I'm playing Fortnite right now is because I, I, I want to achieve more. I, I want to get better. I want to get, you know, in, in, in that sense, it'll be like, I want to get to like the pinnacle of that game and, and trying to get kills and stuff like that. In FIFA, when you get to the pinnacle of the game of getting R9 and stuff like that, you realize that it's just not, you're not rewarded. You just yeah. not because even if you have R9 and you're better than the person you played, you still can lose to that person. And yeah. that's where the problem is. Like if you get good at Fortnite, usually a 1v1, you're going to win the gunfight. But if, yeah. you get, if you get the best team in FIFA and you're pretty good, you still could lose to an average player. And I think that what the market being low done has exposed how bad this game is, how bad the gameplay. It all goes back to the gameplay just not being good in my opinion. And I, yeah. I think the market, I know a lot of us hate to hear it. I think the market needs to go back up. And I'm going to tell you something with the new... To FIFA 23, the new chemistry styles are changing. Icons, I think, will become more and more irrelevant with, with the way the star, I don't know how the stars are actually, are they calling it stars now or something? That's changing. Yeah, some of that, yeah. Yeah, so a lot of that happens. So one more thing about, now we'll jump into FIFA 23 real quick because, again, I don't want to keep you too long, but you got kids and stuff, man. Um, the crossplay looked good. Looked like I was going to PC, but now PC doesn't share market with consoles. How do you feel? Yeah. Yes, it's just, uh, I, I, I genuinely don't know why. Does it make sense? Um, no, is it because of sense. hackers? Is it because people could hack coins and they were scared that there would be a big, like, easy for, like, coin buyers to just move coins? Is that what there was? Maybe, but, yeah, it's... it's people are saying bots. It's sad. Bots. So I was excited because I'm going to be going back from D.C. to Texas a lot throughout the FIFA season. I thought to myself, man, I could just play on PC and I don't have to take nothing with me. I don't need a console. Yeah. PlayStation is hard to get. I'm chilling. Now, all of a sudden, that's all changed because if I play on, play on PC, I might not be able to get an R9. That's wild. Yeah. Yeah. How, yeah. how mad is that? Like, I don't know what it's like on PC this year. I didn't, I didn't do a PC Road to Glory this year, but it is mad that, like, like for, I think it was FIFA 20, mm -hmm. like the first six months of the game cycle, you literally could not play draft because it was just bots farming the draft. So you would go into a game would immediately kick you out and that would be it you'd have to restart the draft you got a loss for it just immediately like that's a huge issue and now 
if there's no market on PC that's shared, people aren't going to all of a sudden going to transition to PC and make this like the PC market or the PC in general more populated, which means the same problems are going to be there. You're going to be playing games and then, yeah, you're going to come up, you're going to be, oh, let me go and buy this. Oh, no, hold on. There's nothing on the market. Like there's there's none of them there. It's, yeah. it's, it's tough, man. It's sad. It is. Uh, my, my thing is, uh, speaking on FIFA 23, I think that this has to be their year because as they get away from FIFA, I think they need to leave the best, imp- how do you say, it? the best, uh, you know, like the best image in people's heads of this game. So that way when it's no longer called FIFA and it's called EA Sports, whatever it's called, FC, people are like, oh, I still want this game. You get what I'm saying? Like, I think it's yeah. important for this game to, to be good. And and again, guys, I know we bash EA a lot up here, but we bash EA because, as you can tell, me and Nep have been doing content for 11 years now or something like that. We passionate yeah. about this game, bro. We could have gone to Call of Duty. We could have gone to uh, Fortnite. We could have gone to a lot of different games. You know, there was an opportunity there when, you know, the side men were blowing up. We could have easily went to our IRL stuff. Those were our friends. We hung out with JJ. We could have easily. But we're passionate about this game. We like this game. We've been a part of this game for a long time. And, and um. You know, it's it's it sucks to see that uh uh you know that EA just really really don't care at all about uh gameplay, man. In my opinion, so um yeah, man. So is there anything else we should say about FIFA 23? We talked about Juve. We talked about the 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 PC guys. Is there anything else we should touch on before I let Nep go? Um and and uh, we go we go from there. I'm trying to think, man. Is there anything else that FIFA 23 wise? Uh, I don't, I don't I don't even know. Uh... They haven't really released that much information about it yet, have they? No, there wasn't really that much. And I, I know the market, the 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 chem styles are um changing, right? Oh, there is one more. Uh there is kind of no early access for FIFA twenty three. Yeah, I, I, I saw that and I saw a lot of people are like wound up about that, but does it matter? So it comes out the 23rd if you pre-order it, correct? The 27th, yeah. right? If you yeah, like the early it. access and the pre-order are basically at the same time now. I, mm-hmm. I don't, I, I, that's one of the, I genuinely don't care about that. I don't know why that's a, a, a thing. I, 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 if, if somebody could explain why that's an issue, I would, I would love to know the, the thought process behind it. Well, why, why you guys uh, explain that? You, do, do you think that we, uh, team of the week needs to go during, for FIFA 23? That is well, so- it, it won't though, will it? Because just pre-order bonus is a Team of the Week player. <laughs> so, so it's um, Yeah, it's, uh, uh, it's staying. Yeah, so I, I don't know, man. And, and you think the World Cup mode will be within foot, right? Uh, yeah, I believe so. I, I believe from what I already understand, it's going to be downloadable content, like a free download add-on. But it's, um, not, it's it, so it's going to be a whole nother mode? Yeah, I think like last year, you know how like you just go into it through Ultimate Team to get to the Ultimate Team World Cup. I, that's how I, I think it so, will be. So it's going to be like the 2018 version? Yeah, I believe so, yeah. Where it kind of died after like five days. Well, yeah, because of the icon stuff. Hopefully this time around, although they've got the World Cup Heroes things, haven't they? So yeah, yeah maybe, maybe, maybe it's the same issue again. But the, yeah. man, like, do, do you know what I think, though? Like the World Cup mode, it lasted only like two weeks, three weeks before the icons came. But why not have like modes like that that they put out periodically, you know? Okay, we've got a Champions League mode and then after a month that closes down and you get some unique rewards for it that carry over to Ultimate Team. Then they start a brand new mode, like mm. a World Cup mode or Euro... Like, do you know what I mean? Like people love the start of Ultimate Team so much. Imagine having to restart Ultimate Team every four weeks but not actually restarting your main Ultimate Team, but like a side Ultimate Team that you right. restart that gives you something towards the main one. I think that would be sick. So, so you're saying like a, a Champions League uh, mode that lasts a month, and then a World Cup mode that lasts a month. Yeah. Something, something, something. I see. What yeah, you're saying. and then something else. The net law, or like whatever the promo is. You know, okay, the first promo is ones to watch. So you go into like a ones to watch mode, and mm. what, whatever you complete or achieve during that mode, you carry some stuff back, and then the next promo comes out, and it's like Futmus or whatever, and then you go into a Futmus mode, and then you start again with like a brand new squad, and you do. I, I, I think that would be cool. I would like that, but no, no, I, I, I see, I see a hundred percent where you're going with that. The, the, the is the Marvel promo that's coming in twenty three. Is that leaked or is that actually from EA? Because I, 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 there's so many leaks now that I don't I, know. I think EA tweeted or EA put something out about it somewhere, but we know EA all too well. The Marvel promo is not going to be anything other than just some cosmetics in the store 
mm. a new TIFO for your stadium and like a ball or something. That's it. That's all it's going to be. It's not going to be it's not going to be what we want where it's like, oh, wow, the card on your ultimate team looks like a Marvel hero. Like, that's not what it's going to be. It's just not. Yeah. I, I hope I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong, but I just don't think that's going to be what it's going to be. No, no, no. I, I, I'm telling you, man, I, 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 I agree. I, I think I thousand percent agree with you. I just don't see how you can even put unless like Aubameyang just like when you score with him, he pulls out the 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 Black Panther mask. Yeah, I don't, there's not enough stuff that was done with superhero type things. You get what I'm saying? Unless like yeah. was, didn't didn't like Royce used to have like a Batman mask or something like that. It was something like that. I think there was one time he pulled out like a Batman. I, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe, I, maybe I'm absolutely tripping, but. Yeah, man, I'm excited for 23. I'm gonna be a thousand percent. Did I say Madden or I say did I say Madden? Why, why are people saying maybe I messed oh, up? Oh, cool. no, maybe I messed up. Um, yeah, man, but I, I just, I, I, I'm excited for 23. I hope 23. I hope they do make some changes because I'm, I'm, I don't want to sound like I'm like an SBC hater or like, um, you know, like a, a, a share play hater or anything like that. I just think that the game rotates a little bit way too much around what SBC is coming out today. I think it rotates yeah. way. It, it, the SBCs are more important than the actual promos. You know what I'm saying? And that's yeah. like it's it's all about SBCs. This game is now, um, and and I just don't like the whole like system of saving fodder for an SBC to rinse. And I just think it needs to be more about football. And a hundred percent, yeah. The game is just not about football anymore, man. It's it's really, 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 really not about football. We'll end this entire podcast on once again, pro clubs butt cheeks thoughts Dude. yeah from what i've seen they're not doing anything with pro clubs again next year that's mm. how sad is that man it's, it's how sad it's, is that bro it's it's so 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 sad um before we get out of here i want to one more time um thank uh dave um thank you guys so much uh for sponsoring um this episode and helping uh, pr uh produce it uh you can download uh the full audio of this podcast um, on Spotify, Apple Music, all those great things. You can watch it on YouTube. We have it up on YouTube. I want you guys to make sure to check out Nepenthes. He has a YouTube channel. You guys have to go check that out. And also, uh, once again, and one more time, a big shout out to Dave. You can download the Dave app from the Apple Store right now. That's D-A-V-E. Sign up for extra cash, uh, extra cash account, and get $500 instantly. For terms and, terms and condition, go to dave.com slash legal. Uh, instant transfer fees apply. Down, uh, banking provided by Evolve. Member FDIC. Future you will thank you. NEP. You are an absolute animal. I could talk to you for hours, man. I'm ending this because I know you got babies to watch and wife to go see. This, this is genuinely my bedtime, man. I'm usually asleep by about now. So crazy. We used I'm to stay a, up. I'm an tell, old man, man. We used to stay up and tell oh hours of the nights, man. My boy Nep's almost yeah. falling asleep. Can we get a W spam for big boy Nepo, man? I hope you guys enjoy this again. Apple Music, YouTube, Spotify. You can watch it back, listen back, shout to uh, a, 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 a prediction for always helping us put these things together. I love you guys. I appreciate y'all watching and listening to this one. Y'all are absolutely amazing. We'll catch you in the next TikTok.